In this tutorial, we will be cutting a modern layered version of the wedge haircut with a bonus pixie haircut transformation. You will learn advanced cutting techniques that will help you with your short haircuts. We start the haircut sectioning along the parietal ridge down to the mastoid process behind the ear. We take horizontal sections from behind the ear through to the front hairline and vertical sections behind the ear. Our cutting angle mirrors our sectioning and our body position is in front of our sections. We continue to take parallel sections using our previous section as our guide, slowly increasing length with every new section. We continue this process until we complete this zone. This haircut may not be something you do every day in the salon. However, my intention in creating this is to help you gain skills for when you do have a short haircut client in your chair and you have no idea what to do. Learning how to combine and disconnect shapes and put them together will really help you to advance all of your haircutting skills, whether you're cutting short, medium or long haircuts. We now repeat the same process on the opposite side. Taking horizontal sections will help to build weight. Vertical sections will reduce maximum weight, while diagonal sections incorporate both, creating a soft effect. Once we complete this zone, we move to the fringe zone. Taking a horizontal section, we now stand to the side of our model, continuing a horizontal section. We connect the fringe length into the side zones. This becomes our guide for the fringe. We now cut a horizontal line with the fringe in natural fall. We take our second section standing behind our model, directing this section 90 degrees straight up. Using section one as our guide for section two, this will help to soften the edge of our fringe. We continue with horizontal sections. Section two becomes our guide for section three. This time we start our invisible layering, increasing our cutting guide one finger in width over our guide. Cutting square 
will create a modern layering effect whilst maintaining our corners over the parietal ridge. The invisible layering will maximise internal texture whilst maintaining a heavier shape. We continue this process until we reach the apex. We take our last section from the apex zone. This becomes our guide for the back zone. In the top crown, I stop over directing my cutting guide. And I start directing my sections on base. This will create a curved round shape in the crown zone. Once our section passes the crown, I continue to over direct my sections to this guide to increase the length in the bottom of this zone, creating a more mullet effect. We now move back to the top zone, taking horizontal sections. We find our guide from the previous zone. We continue to follow this guide using the invisible layering technique, increasing our cutting line with every new section until we run out of hair. We continue this process over the apex and crown zones. We leave the back zone as the disconnection visually works for this shape. We repeat this process on the opposite side. I have chosen to use this technique in the parietal zone area to create a visual disconnection that blends. A traditional wedge haircut generally won't have an extended length in the back zone and it will finish in a triangular point in the back hairline. We now refine the haircut using club cutting and point cutting techniques. Let me know in the comments below if you cut mullet or wedge or pixie haircuts in the salon or whether you're just interested in learning how to get better at cutting short haircuts. If you value this type of tutorial, please let me know in the comments below so I can create more content like this for you. I'm now refining the fringe in natural fall, point cutting deeply to create maximum texture and movement in the fringe zone. I'm now swapping over to a, a thicker pair of scissors that's designed to slice and point cut. The blades on this scissor are a lot thicker, so when I go to point cut, it reduces more weight creating maximum texture. I'm now going to trace the haircut elevating 90 degrees straight up point cutting deeply into the exterior of the shape creating maximum movement and softness. This is my take on a modern layered wedge mullet haircut. Let me know if you learned something new in the comments below and do me a favour, tell me where you're watching from. I am now going to transform the wedge mullet into a wedge pixie haircut. I start in the back corner with diagonal back sections. We cut a round graduation in the wedge zone.
I now take larger sections, directing back to my past guide, cutting with elevation. I continue this process until I run out of hair. We repeat this on both sides before refining the hairline with point cutting, club cutting and scissor over comb. This will create a small undercut in the back of the nape zone, maintaining the wedge to create this modern take on a pixie wedge combination haircut. If you liked and learned something new, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. Be sure to check out my latest tutorials where you'll learn the classics, basics and new advanced salon friendly haircuts. If you liked this YouTube tutorial, you definitely have to watch these two next. Thanks for watching.